Good evening. Captain Matt Edwards retired here with another short video. I'm going to do a sort of recap uh, on the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act integration with the Canada Pension Plan because I came up with another eureka moment, I guess. I saw that in the uh, Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institution actuarial report put out by the Government of Canada that they said that the Reserve Force Pension Plan is not coordinated with the Canada Pension Plan. Now that has very large implications. Like I was just saying to another veteran, that would be a chink in their armor that our pensions are integrated with the Canada Pension Plan. They've been deducting $53 a month from my pension since last year, and they have no legal authority to do so. They quoted off the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act, Section 15.2b, to me as the statutory authority to go ahead and take that from. And there is no such authority within the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act. I fall under Part 1.1 of the Reserve Force Pension Plan, and the Canadian Forces Superannuation Act Section 15.2b is in Part 1. So there's no way in God's green earth that they can legally deduct the $53 a month under the authority of Section 15.2b because it doesn't apply to me. Now, I told them that last year. They ignored me. I've been telling everybody that since last year. Now, today, when I was looking at it, I saw four or five different things in the same thing that I read before, but I didn't put the connections together. One of the things was that the .00625 coordination formula is not included for the Reserve Force Pension Plan. So the Office of the Superintendents of Financial Institutions Actuaries said that the Canadian Forces regular pension, regular force pension, is reduced by the .00625 times the number of years served off the pension, but they made no mention at all within the Reserve Force Pension. So once again, if I can get them to fix this, because that's proof positive that I'm right and they're wrong, maybe it'll start making this bullshit about the bridging payment. You know, that's nothing but horseshit. Okay, if you have a pension, it's savings. And if you have two savings plans, why should one savings plan be deducted from the other savings plan? Okay, pensions are assets, IBM versus Waterman. Pensions are forced savings, Roy, Federal Court of Appeal. Pensions are earned in service, even if you don't pay for it, IBM versus Waterman, 2013, Supreme Court. So these bozos who should know all this shouldn't be taking our money. They shouldn't. They have come to the conclusion that they own our money because they deducted it from our pay. If we earn it, it's ours. If they decide to take it, they have to give it back at a later date. They can't just take it and then only give you part of it back. 